YouTube, what is up? Happy 2022. We are here. We got a 60 ball going out. Anything from mids, lows, Air Max, Nike basketball, good retros. We got jerseys and stuff that we didn't even put in the picture because we can't even fit it. We got fat rock stars, Alexander McQueen, shouts to him. We got some Union 4s, Royalty 12s. Those things are going up like every day, it seems. What's the best shoe here? I'll go, like Gary said off camera, KD4 Galaxy. Best basketball Yeah, I mean, ever. from nostalgia, I guess you gotta say KD4 Galaxy. Money-wise, I gotta say Sale, Air Force, Trav. I was buying these on GOAT for 260 300 This pair sold for 1300 bucks, so I'm definitely happy about that. And wow, two pairs of royalties. Didn't even realize. Lightning 4s, Classic Grapes, Classic Mochas, Another Mocha 1, Bad Bunnies, OVO 10s. I remember when these were going for a lot of money, now they're not. Uh, there's also some stuff we can't find. Hopefully we find it. Can't forget RIP Virgil. We got the Off-White Vapor Max. Never even changed the price after he passed just kind of left them there and finally someone bought them hope everyone had a great new year's eve new year's day new year 50k oh shoot i forgot man it's been a busy day we appreciate everybody for subscribing to the channel we just hit 50k it feels crazy i never thought it would happen and we're already almost at 51k which is also crazy so obviously that means we have to continue with the content maybe we'll start making new videos what have you if you guys have anything to say to the viewers for the 50k subscribers i mean i appreciate all the love and support it's been a crazy crazy year that i've been a part of so Thank you all. Watching the store grow, you know, since I started, it's crazy to see that they hit 50K. I started watching A when he was probably like around three. And then now that I'm here, it's crazy to think that he's even at 50. So we appreciate y'all and thank y'all for supporting us. Yeah, it's crazy just to think how the idea came about. It was around literally like this time and just to see it grow and see what it has become, see what the store has grown to. Hi, three more people, four more people, one, two, three, four, yeah, four more people. So it's just crazy to see how you guys are supporting us and helping us take the business to the next level. You guys are just as much a part of journey as we are um so without you guys none of this is possible so thank you guys roll to 100k is next so let's get that going i'm saying by november 100k i think we're gonna get it before then but november yeah we are very appreciative never even thought we'd make it to 10 25k 30k 50k is honestly crazy to think about hopefully we stay consistent give you guys really cool content that you enjoy but other than that we really appreciate everyone who's been shopping on the ebay store man because obviously shopping on the ebay store keeps us going as you can see we got like 60 orders we gotta get packed up let's get to it right now let's see what else happens today my single cool gray <laughs> what are you looking for for this stuff you know how i do it around in the house I, I, I do know how you do that if i gotta ask you what, what, what are you looking for i mean let's talk about the personal real quick you know what i'm saying i don't got none of my personal for sale you still got them tries lows yeah Come on, get those up. I get them those up, man. Remember I got these shits on um, that day? You guys they too tight? Yeah, bro. My toes. I know them. I couldn't do it. I know them. What you want for this stuff? What you doing on these? Uh, How much you want for those? Uh, 220. Let me see. Let's do the PCPs last, just because it's GS. All right. What are you looking at for uh, Raptors? Can you do 150? Fit it. Like 10 bucks. T-shirts? Can you do like 30? This one. 20. I got a feeling it's going to be in this closet anyway. Nah, a large is small. It might be in his closet. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I got a feeling he's going to take it. Shit too big for you, bro. Nah, I know. I was hyped when I seen it, so I just bought it. But when I put it on, I was like... How much you want for this guy? Um, 20. How much you want for BC3? Do like 60. I'll trade that stuff for those. Right. You want to do that? Right, just because these are just low on the boat right now, bro. Just like similar condition, they're going for like $80. I'll probably just hold off on that, but that's cool with you. You don't even like give me store credit on this? Just because the traction right here is just all gone, I'll probably just hold off for now. Big money, man, right here. Big money, man. Yeah, what you going for? Hey, Chocolate and milk. Ooh. Underrated shoe. Oh, you getting, the, you getting the fit. You see, I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold up. Gift, gift. You sound like this guy right Christmas now. Christmas time. Christmas time. It's all gifts. What, what cargoes are those? Those don't look cheap. Fashion over men cargoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was like, it was like 20, 30. 20, 30 bucks, but you gotta make it look good. And you got a bomber on, bomber ain't cheap. With the blue bin? That's what I'm saying. The, the fitted costs more than the jeans. Jeez. The cargos, you know? Funny, man. Forgot, Lee? Shout out to me one. Shout out to me one of those. <laughs> store credit, whatever. Oh, right, cool. Yeah. I don't really got a price of mind. I'm not saying anything. You say you don't have a price of mind? Yeah. 
Alright, cool. Make sure you look for possibly trades. Yeah, store credit. You know. Was it anything specifically you was looking for? Because ten and a half is a really good size for us, I'll be honest. You know, possibly may have what you're looking for. Okay. Ten and a half. My boy told me about this place, uh first time here? Yep. Oh, where are you from? Oh, I live in Teaneck. Oh, Teaneck? Okay, cool, cool. But I know the, um, I don't know if he's an owner or, or other. AG? Ponytail? Ponytail? Yeah. Yeah, AG. I-25. So I got jacket too. Oh, okay. How much you looking for for the jacket? A hundred for the jacket. I think I'll probably just pass on this for now. I'll say look around, see if you find anything. Anything out here for the most part is used. We do have a lot of new stuff in the bag too. And in the warehouse, just depending on what, you, what you're looking for. That's all stuff, by the way. Yeah, this is the one has the pull out this thing. We'll pay PayPal. I, got, I have all of it. So um, know. let's see if we can zell. We should be able to zell this new year, new month. Get his number and try to zell a hey, please. I guess since this stuff is already here, we'll just start off here. We got about eight sneakers. He traded for the top fours and got some cash on top. Second top four we sold in back to back days. Well, back to back work days. We sold the nine and a half on Friday. So the ten and a half today. So we went from getting that shoe like all the time and having like the same size eight, nine and a half. So now we only have one left. I can't see what size it is, but it's probably like an I think it's an engine. Yeah, I think so too. But we're gonna start off here. Tankers, type cook, type smoke. Again, you guys know what we do with this type of stuff. This is not too too bad, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little cleanup on the bottom, a little tubble tubble action. The bottom's gonna look a lot better. So we got those. So everything here is a ten and a half. I don't do the mids, but a cool colorway combo. It is a loud sneaker, but it's not that loud to me personally. Also comes with white laces. I forgot the name of these, but usually I would pass on these, but just because I'm buying everything. I think these are like the NYC's, NYC 23's. You guys probably heard it a million times, but Abe bought this back in the day. He sat on them and he could have sold them for like a pretty penny at the time. Crimson tint. Lows, some all star mids, all star lows, black Oreos, and I forgot the name of these. Spooky, I was just talking about the bad bunnies. We saw the bad bunny, she's wearing the bad bunnies. That's spooky stuff, but I cash her out, so give us a second. I have Tim Ross, and the Coastal. How much you want for these? Well, I was thinking if I could do an even trade. For okay, both. who are you looking for at? Credit. Is it multiple shoes? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I was thinking of dunks for these. Okay, core purples. And what else? And then the MX rocks for the and the shards in a size 12. Okay, you want the 12, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, it's that one right there. Awesome. I could definitely drop the price here. This said 270. I could definitely drop. It said 275. I could drop it down. Let me just see where these are at. I think these are up, but let me see where they're at. Yeah, they're like new. It was 400, but those are like slightly used. So I don't know. Looking and then the oats, how much you were looking at? Because honestly, we've been getting them at two. Well, well, what would you give me for the trade, if anything? I could put at least like something down if you need me to. Okay, so we had these up at 275. We had these up at 260. If you could drop these down to... I definitely want to drop those down. Yeah. Let me just see these, because this is the big one right here. So let me see where these are at. But I'll drop these to 230 and basically like do that. So use this for that. These I can drop to 250. I would say like at 50 on top, but let me just double check these. Yeah, they're no Uh at 40. That's fine. But that's cool with you. That's cool. So basically drop these to 240 for you. Or 210 or that, however you want to look at it. Let me get you the other one. Yeah, perfect. That's cool. That's cool. The buying keeps buying. That makes sense. That makes zero sense whatsoever. But we keep buying. We need a second just to breathe because after that 60 ball and then a lot of buying and flicking, it's just crazy, crazy morning. It's already three o'clock. Shout out to her. She always pulls up. Her and her husband, they always come by and they always do great trades and great deals. They always buy good stuff. So we try to hook it up as much as possible for them. First off, we start off here. Beautiful sneaker right here. It took me a couple of minutes to look at this shoe to realize this was worn. Really, really clean. The coast looks just like the University Blue. I call them the UNCs. But she traded these for the uh, UNC to Chicago's and then these MX rocks she traded for the core purple and a half the use where we had and then she added 40 on top which is pretty cool pretty clean deal if you ask me let's see what this guy is about to say. Right, one and a half brand new how much you looking for what I paid oh. they end up being too small uh nah they I bought them for some chick for Christmas and mm -hmm. I realized she didn't deserve it you like that sometimes <laughs> you like that sometimes <laughs> so I was like you know what fuck it let me try to get my money back 
Go on. Four and a half is pretty low. Honestly, I'll probably be at like 160 for them. Four and a half is just super low, surprisingly compared to the other size. You do like 170? You do 170, I'll take it all day. I'll meet you in the middle at 165. Uh, That's cool. Let's do it. Uh, Zell, right? That's what we usually do? Zell, yeah, preferably. Uh, okay, can. Cool. Give me one second. Bought another pair of Yeezys. Four and a half, they are pretty low, but honestly, just because of the size, I thought it would be good for us to have. Um, a four and a half. We don't have many small sizes, so for us, I thought it was a really good idea to to buy a um four and a half. Cute colorway, definitely um a sneaker. I feel like a chick would buy for like the spring summertime. So shout out to my guy Lido. Came by, pulled up, shot as always. Smooth transaction. Well, we're gonna start off here with what size is this? Three eight. The ninety five World Series patch. And the Braves. Shout out to them. They won the World Series this year. Burns eyeing this. I know. Oh no, this is no, not. I can't. Wear that. <laughs> a, you was eyeing this one too? No, no, I can't, I can't wear that. <laughs> A was probably, A's probably gonna wear this um, 2XL. I think he's a Mets fan, so I feel like he'll probably want this. I'm not gonna lie. He's a Mets fan, I believe. Mets fan, heavy on the quotations. This is the one Berwin might be interested in buying. Uh, it's calm. It's calm. It's calm. No little color splash. You know, Berwin like to dip and dabble with his colors. But again, cool little vintage tee. I also brought in this White Sox jersey. It is. Cause someone's definitely gonna comment in the video, like, what size is this? This is an XL, so pretty good size. Nice little White Sox bat and practice jersey. Pretty clean. It's funny, he bought these from us. He's bringing them back to us. It's like he hasn't even worn them. Raptor Sevens, size nine. Not too much to say about that shoe. I think they're re-releasing this year. Damn spooky. The patent leather sevens came in earlier. Oh. Did we, did we, we didn't recap those. That's just nasty. I think I already took pictures. I think Charlie already brought Which them ones? over. The Raptor Sevens. Uh, oh, oh those are gone. <laughs> Gone. Them just nasty. We said it earlier. AG said it earlier. This shoe has been doing pretty well for us. The prices are going up on them. This size though, it is pretty low. But again, it's a shoe that I'm gonna keep trending upwards. It's literally a taxi just with the gold on it. And definitely gotta take out the black lace. The black lace is nasty. But this is a fire shoe. I feel like this is a really a good gift to give someone, someone who likes 12s, so a father, or uncle, someone like that. So a really good shoe. Now, I've been asking for more Berwin. So my guy B Dub is about to pop up on the camera because he has a little unboxing to do because you know, Mr. Big Money. <laughs> <laughs> like Quentin Tarantino out here. What's up guys? It's your boy Speed Up, aka Berwin. We back. I was really excited to get this in. The eBay hub had this chilling in there for like a, a minute now. But it finally got here. For all those in the watching right now, guess what this is? And whoever guesses it, good for you. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna get, get close to it. It's an if you know, you know type of shoe. Honestly, I kind of forgot what color you copped. Shout out to eBay as always for the authenticity guarantee. They got the best brown boxes, I'm not gonna lie. Yep. Guys, pause the video right here. This is your second opportunity to guess. You probably effed up the first time. <laughs> this is your rebuttal. Without further ado. Yes, sir. They don't like these. Yeah, you like these? <laughs> I want to see what's outside. That shit is crazy. <laughs> That's a bad toe, though. No, no. You think it's a bad brand. Oh, it is a bad brand. That's just me, though. Guys, my fellow subscribers. That's just me, though. Like, please flame him in the comments. You can please. Flame me, like, it was, it's a bad brand. Flame him. I've never liked New Balances. Like, flame him. Bad. Like, the Salais. I'm sorry to people that I love Salais. Them shits are not. All right, let me be part of my language. Them, that's bad. Colorways, that's just bad. Whoa. Things. This is what we got pinned back to. Anyways. Back to regular schedule program. Program. Damn guys, did I send this post to you when I when they when they came out with it? I sent it to you. Oh, you did. Oh yeah, you did. That's right. See, I know Berwin guys, <laughs> and we seen them at the show. But when he sent them to me, I was like, bro, I need those. And lo and behold, I got. They're actually pretty low right now, like 150 to like 120. Pretty good for orange yeah. for orange sneaker too. Like the pack that this came on, it was like orange UNC. Like blue and then black and white. I'm currently looking for the UNC color. So if anyone out there has an eight, it can't be an eight and a half. It can't be a seven and a half. It has to be an eight. Hit me up. Under two hundred. Under two hundred, please. Um, so not one ninety nine. Apparently they're supposed to be uh, re-releasing on the twelfth of January. So I'm gonna try getting them again. But damn. Can't wait for the fit pick. You know. Damn, it goes with the fit now. You know. <laughs> That's a little unboxing I have for you guys. You'll probably see me wearing these in a future video or whenever. But let me know how you guys feel about the whole New Balance brand. Um, my current favorite models right now are the 550s and the 2000 Rs. They, they've been killing it lately. New Balance is like the next big thing, in my opinion. What they, do you think, Jordan? Oh, you know how I feel. <laughs> I feel like they really rebranded themselves. They yeah, really um. They're doing really well. They they are doing really well. I feel like they they've given the sneaker game a fresh new outlook now. So whenever whenever like just like anything in life, we can get something new 
it fresh, you revamp something, whatever you're into, whether it's music, um, art, whatever. I feel like it's always good for the culture. There's something out there just to bring stuff back to life. Cause you know, the sneaker game was getting a little stale and I do see a lot of people wearing the 550s now, which is pretty cool to see just for the brand of New Balance, just to see them back and alive and tapping in with both markets, the old market and the young market. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. See you soon. Thanks for watching and I shall be back. It's funny. I got an unboxing later too when they drop some, but <laughs> they're not, I don't think they're ready for that. They're not ready. <laughs> I just wanted to congratulate Team New Balance on winning the Top Shelf Kicks Fantasy Football League. He beat Danny's definitive team. Who's his best player? Even though he had Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor didn't go crazy this week. He had St. Brown, right? Shout out to Team New Balance. He made the plug and play. He put in Boston Scott, which was a very nice plug. He took out Russell Gage. Boston Scott had more points than Taylor. That's how you know fantasy football is a lot of strategy and luck. He did have Devontae Adams who dropped the 30 ball. Nick Chubb didn't do too well for Danny's team. Team New Balance dropped 172 points, so he definitely deserved to win. He decided, though, to do a split so he's looking at $800 store credit and Danny's definitive team is looking at 400 so shouts to you guys for joining the league really appreciate it it was a fun fun league my team didn't really do too well but if I was there I did have Jamar Chase on my team and he went crazy so you know not that I made it close Jordan sadly you well, know I was hurt hurt a little bit I was this close to winning some some type of money COVID and injuries you know it's just at least I finished third place. Better than nothing. Better than better than me, that's for sure. Anyway, speaking of football, here we got this Kelly Green LaShawn McCoy jersey. I literally just put this up and it just sold. So I felt like running over here and telling you guys about how the Eagles are in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? I tip my hat off to y'all. You know, so even J though he Jaylen, didn't have Jaylen, a lot of faith in the beginning of the season, he did not have a lot of faith. Look, look, guys, it's no secret. I miss Carson Wentz. That was my guy. <laughs> Jalen Hurts, he's my guy now. But Carson Wentz was my guy, man. We let him go too quick. We just kind of mistreated him. That's all. But you know, shouts, shouts to the Eagles, man. I give it to y'all. Y'all look good. That look good. Speaking of look good, shouts to everyone else who in the beginning was clowning my Aaron Rodgers pick. Aaron Rodgers this, Aaron Rodgers that. MVP. Looking like MVP. Wish I put my money on that. I'll bet you right now he's going to no, get no. it. If you I don't want to bet I think he sh I think he He's going to get it. I'll the MVP is a quarterback award it's now. It's not going to be Brady. Definitely not I think be Brady. he should win it over Brady, but I think the real MVP. <laughs> the real Jonathan MVP. Taylor? Nope. Cooper Cup. His numbers are crazy. He's on. He has potential. His numbers are crazy, but Jonathan Taylor's numbers are pretty crazy too. Derrick Henry had the same numbers last year and better, and he yeah. didn't win it. Yeah, but I'm saying, but that's why, like, I feel like if anything, Taylor should win it before Cup. Cup's about to have the second greatest receiver. In yeah, but but career. Stafford's been he's been sucking lately, but he's been going kind of crazy. But that's the that's the key right there. Stafford is going to be in control of the two receivers who had who's one and two in career uh, yards in the season. Well, the more you know, NFL almanac over there. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get this packed up and shipped out. Maybe do some other stuff and see what else happens. How much no, you said? You said if everything good? Yeah, so I'm 840. Yeah. I say 50, but you said they were desktop like 8. Was it hot? 10, right? Yeah, for 10. Um, I'm taking these with Alright. So basically you want store credit yeah. for these yeah, plus whatever. Yeah, uh, I believe we'd owe you 170 plus these for just this. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Alright, bet. So you want to keep the car yeah. mines, right? Awesome. Check these out, make sure everything's good, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be good money. Though. What way of payment works? Do you have Zelle, Venmo? Yeah, Is that cool? Do we or cash app? I don't have Venmo, I have cash app. No price in my for anything? Just as long as I don't get wet. You know what I mean? No, I got you. Are you looking for cash? Yeah. First time here? Yeah. I Where'd saw you? your other location before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, off of Roseland Ave. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to stop in there one day, but I never did. Oh, you're local? Yeah, I'm in West Orange. Oh, oh cool. A lot of 11s. Yeah, that's, that's what I brought today. <laughs> I have others. My wife was like, it's time to get rid of them. I'm not doing anything with them. I'm not wearing them. Hey, at least you waited until the right time. They say they have price in mind for anything, right? No. And I'm assuming that all these from Full Locker? Yeah. Get a Full Locker champs or whatever. That's the best. 16? Uh, do you have any counters? Can you go closer to 18? I think you were going to say that, but I'm not sure. That's fine. 16.50? Yeah, I'm going to go <laughs> can't meet me in the middle? Huh? 675. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is older. Yeah, they are new, but a lot of this stuff is older. So. Uh, we can go with 1675. Uh, I just want you to talk about everything. 1675 we came to? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Do you have Venmo, Zell, something like that? Uh, yeah. I got well, honestly, 
How are you a check? And you said you're local, right? Yeah, I'm local. You could you can cash it at my bank like tomorrow when it's open, or unless you have Apple Pay, I can Apple Pay it or PayPal. My wife has Apple. I mean, I could text her to her, and then she could, you know, put it directly into her wallet if you want. Okay. No, Does that work? Yeah, yeah. Right here, we have a stack of shoes, all my size. And a lot of these shoes, you know, just take me down memory lane. First up, we got these Cherry Bottom 11 Lows. I remember when these came out. I was going to school in Massachusetts, and all my friends from New Jersey were like, bro, get me these 11 Lows. So I remember driving to, I think, Holy Oak Mall at the time. I picked up, like, three or four pairs and ended up selling them to my friends for, like, a little over retail at the time. Next up, we have another 11 Low, the Tuxedo. If you guys have these old pairs, as you can see, they do get yellow. But, you know, the yellowing is a sign of authenticity, if you ask me personally. Next up, we have a pair of the Bread 11s. This is from 2012. Obviously, this pair is a little harder to sell than the newer one. It's also very hard to find brand new in 11 and a half, so that was worth taking the shot. Next up, we have this Legend Blue, aka Columbia 11. I'll be honest, I don't want to open up the box and take it back out because I literally just put it back in the box, so sorry, guys. Next up, we have, ooh, ugh, the Baron 11 Low. I'm hoping these go for some money brand new. I, I'd assume they do nowadays. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's a lot of 11s, man. Whoa. UNC 11 low. These go for a little chicken. I already can just tell. Dang, look, he got the last pair. 175 retail. He got game 13. A lot of memories in this shoe too. Denzel Washington classic. He got game, of course, brand new. This is also the, oh, actually, this is the 2013 edition. And they dropped again in like 2017 or 18. So whatever. And last but not least, we have a sneaker that definitely doesn't come in too often. And when it does come in, it sells pretty quickly. Here we got the Olympic 7 brand new 2012. Love this sneaker. I probably said this story a couple times, but Jordan reminded me of it just now. So I'll talk about it again. Had the For the Love of the Game pair had them in my collection was going to keep them and then they said they were coming back out so i sold them and then they came out with the alternate tinker disgusting seven so that really sucked one special thing to look at on the olympic sevens is if the olympic sevens say 23 they're fake because michael jordan wore a number nine so that was one thing i used to see in high school i used to go places and see people wearing them i'd be like uh, this shouldn't have 23 on the back my boy but whatever back then it was a little different if you're around my age you probably remember those times where people wore fakes and it like was what it was because they weren't dropping retros all the time other than that enough talking for me Panta jordan he can talk about other stuff that i bought off camera so while we were buying that it was also over here buying this stuff it's off here because the box is already open uh this shoe is just ugly yeah. it's just i know what he's thinking because right? he said it earlier i don't know what he's thinking but only person i can see wearing this low-key is probably Bowen. no i can low-key see Bowen wearing this i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but these are the type of trash <laughs> of course can never go wrong with a pair of royal toes and a pair of pine green 2.0s Bowen. It's super sick about this shoe. Might be a sign. Hold on, hold on. Before, before, before. Real quick, real quick. Guys, if you're gonna sell your sneaker to a sneaker store here, there, anywhere, you're probably gonna get a better price if you sell it without that on the bottom of it. Ooh. Just letting y'all know. If you come in negotiating, mm -mm. you could have stayed home for a half hour and cleaned the shoes, probably made an extra 20 bucks or so, but hey, you know, the more you know. That already said, retweet, spam, all that. All that good stuff. But again, y'all can tell by the box what this is, a little Sakai action. Burwin. <sighs> How long have you been talking about this shoe? A couple months now. That color? This yeah, exact color. That specific one. This, sh this shoe came in on Saturday, but we didn't buy it. It was a size 10, I think. Comes in size 9. I was actually looking for this shoe back in the day. The Barneys. I got a DS pair in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> this is like probably the most random shoe that he has. Dead stock. Guys, comment down below. Sneaker collection. I don't know what the sneaker collection looks like, but I want to see it. I know y'all want to see it. So. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely yours, yo. I know this sneaker collection is OD, bro. Like, he went, eh, I got that, I got that, but like, doesn't do it justice. He has everything. He said that shit was mad easy. Like, oh, yeah, got it. He said it like he just walked into the store, bought it, and left. Like, That's like, how it used to be. But nah, but nah, it's not like he has just one pair, but it's like two. two At least pairs. two pairs per shoe. Per shoe. Per shoe. Like, that's crazy. Definitely, guys, we gotta get that happen. It's Gassing it up. <laughs> Gassing nah, nah, yo, yo. Nah, nah, I do, I'm not gonna lie. I do guess everything. But that right this there, is man. one thing, like, Gary agrees with me. That's how you know, like, it's true. Like, he has literally every sneaker. When it gets hot out, he breaks out a new pair of sneakers that he haven't seen in a while. Like, this certain silhouette, I haven't seen him wear here. In the two years I've been working here, I know he has mad stuff. I know he does, bro. Like, he has, like, a whole treasure chest of just like heat charlie came back today so you guys know what that means that means i'm gonna run that pig bell that's the ultimate because everyone's here so like if you win that one wait wait whoa no no charlie whoa charlie charlie, charlie has the last bell because he was out before gary came back what you this guy saying gary no no charlie remember charlie won a three p charlie won a three p before gary came back exactly so what is so Gary's here now, so it don't That's matter. That's what I'm saying. This is the ultimate belt. This oh, is the okay, ultimate. But I still have the belt currently. Yes. That don't count. 
Guys, does it count if someone who has the belt who won it honorably? Jordan, if you won, you would have said. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be capping. I'll be capping. I'll be capping. I'll be capping. Guys, I'm the pick champion here, so we know what's gonna happen later on. They all gonna get out. One, two, three, boom. So. What happened last time? You said the same thing. You were the first one out. Yeah, cause y'all was gunning me. How? Bro, I'm after you. It's crazy. How much? Throw me an offer. How much? Those are you could throw me an offer. All. So, if I took these three, I'd be at four. Four? Yeah. Uh, could you meet me at like 450? That's I'll probably make this 425. You can't make the 450? Nah, probably not. So if I sold you these, how much would you give me for these two? Yeah, no price amount for these. No. Type of rolls, I'd be at three. Three? Yeah. I'll do the 425 on these. I guess I'll just keep these. Memo, Zap, uh, okay. You have any of those? Uh, Zap. We are finishing off here. As you can see, it got a little hectic. We bought a bunch of stuff. Shout out to Larry for picking up a pair of Dunk Highs. Shout out to Jeremy for picking up a pair of brand new Toro 14s and a pair of brand new Jubilees. Shout out to USPS for picking up all our stuff early today. We needed that. Shout out to Jeffrey for buying, what did Jeffrey buy? The OJ Simpson jersey. Shout out to Sean and PA for buying the Sean McCoy jersey. Shout out to the dude who just pulled up. He bought brand new Bread 11. Brand new belugas and a user aging bull, so we appreciate that. It is getting late, so I guess we'll one and done it. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. YouTube, we are here. It's Wednesday. Freezing rain last night, so the steps are very slippery. I almost fell earlier. As you can see, this is everything that sold overnight, I believe. So that's a very beautiful thing. I'm very happy about the two football jersey sales because yesterday I had Evan and Charlie working on putting up multiple football jerseys. Some other sales I'm happy about. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the bottom of these things. Oh my god. God, this is a perfect reason on why sometimes you sell sneakers on GOAT and not your own store because someone paid pretty high on these because brand new, they're going for like 800 to 1,000. I would never want to offer some of these shoes for sale in my store. You know, it is what it is. There's a buyer for everything out there, guys. Beaters, grails, whatever it is. Here we got some homage to homes. Quality on the shoe is really good. Don't really like the tongue because the tongue is like totally different than an Air Jordan 1 tongue, but quality is really good. Speaking of good quality, whew, 2001 bread. One beautiful, beautiful sneaker. I have a crazy story about these, but I'm not in the mood to tell it today. Speaking about crazy stories, here we got a Summit Lake LeBron 9 brand new. I remember I went to school in Massachusetts, Amherst, and uh, when this shoe came out, this is back in the Twitter days, I drove to Nike Town, Boston, like a madman, trying to get a ticket for this sneaker. And then when they came out, they were like, I don't know, pretty easy to get, and I wasted a trip. But it makes the sneaker that much more better when you have to chase it. Other than that, we got this pair of Band One mids that sold with that Flyers jacket. So shouts to whoever bought these. I think these are both going overseas. We got some Royal one size seven Y, and yeah not too much stuff guys here we got a order from ebay i think this is a return so for all you ebay sellers out there we're going to talk about why this got returned and what you could do to not get your sneakers returned as you can see here we have a pair of space jam 11s these are tagged by ebay they were sold through our ebay store and they are authentic but we did not mention that they are a b-grade pair so because of that ebay just sent them back to us ruin the sale so if you're selling on ebay make sure to tag your stuff if it's new with a damaged box you have to put new with defects if it's used and beat like these and you don't mention that it's a b grade and it is a b grade you're in trouble so just to ebay and the more you know forgot to mention this beautiful piece that's sold here we got a university of kentucky number five as you can see that nike fat patch authentic 44 no name on the back obviously because it is college but this beautiful piece sold for about 140 shipped and i believe it's heading to oregon and that is what's next on what's shipping I got thrown into the fire here. As you guys see, I got a haircut. I haven't got one since November, so I was looking <laughs> bad out here. I look homeless. Uh, shout out to my guy. I'm not going to say his name, but he know who he is. I ordered something from him. Shoe that I've been looking for. Shoe that I feel like a lot of people is looking for right now. I folded on this shoe a while back, so by just what I'm saying, you guys probably know what shoe I'm talking about. Yeah, you can tell by the box what it is. Yeah, look, look at the prices right now. Shit's crazy. Prices, but the prices now, I didn't pay that. So right, yeah, yeah. bullet early. <laughs> like I probably saved like a good like it's one dollar at least. This is our first time seeing them. Sheesh. Sheesh. It's Sheesh. crazy to think about it because we used to get a lot of pairs. Oh, we did. And then now them just isn't. I we haven't seen any of them come in in a while. These ones are crazy. I haven't seen this shit in hand in so long. I see it on Instagram and all these other sites. Like 
every day. Seeing this shoe in hand, man, it's like, I'm definitely throwing these on IG. I don't post my sneakers on IG. I really do that. This is one that's going to the IG, though. What do you think? I mean, when we first got them, what was it, back in, like, July? Nah, sooner than that. I feel like it was sooner than that. I so feel like it was, like... It had to been somewhere in the like summer. Like, May. It was, May, like, May June. or June, something like that, to be honest. When we first got them, I think we were, like, buying them, what, for, like, 350 3 Yeah. Three and then they were selling for like five. Then we were, mm -hmm. yeah, because they was they were they low. weren't going for they were, they were going for much. I remember selling for, for like five, but I didn't know we was paying like three. I thought because pay was like four. three. Nah, pay was like three fifty for like all of, like every size. I've been saying like I don't think I said it on camera, but I've been saying a lot that the craziest thing about this sneaker specifically for us is that we've been getting a lot of big sizes. So a shoe like that, you expect to get like a lot of small sizes. We've gotten like a lot of like rare sizes, like in the sense of like we gotten thirteen and a half in a woman's so. thirteen and a half, so like 12, 12 and a half. My size never came to the store. I remember Berwin folded on the shoe. I folded, but Berwin folded way worse than I did. That's true. Because Berwin said, if this shoe, shoe comes, comes in, in oh, yeah. I'm copping. Yeah. The shoe literally came like the next day. <laughs> and I forgot what shoe he copped instead, but he said, nah, I gotta pass for now. And like, look at the prices, guys. My size, this shoe is $800. Like, on StockX, it's $750, but click buy now. That's $800 right there. Goat is $800 too. So, I did buy them, planning to wear them, but honestly, just seeing the prices going up, I ordered this pair like two weeks ago. It already jumped up $200 since I bought them. You think it'll keep going up? I don't know. I really don't know. Like a shoe like this, I didn't really think it would have went up that high. I never thought it was going to touch eight. I never thought it was going to touch seven. We honestly, I think all of us thought it was going to stay where it was when it first came out. I thought six was its peak, honestly. I'm going to be honest. I thought six was the peak because again, we were selling this shoe at like 550. When you think about it now, that's nothing. Like that's just a damn still. Probably since the strong weather spoons, I haven't seen a shoe go in price like that that fast. That's being claimed shoe the year. We have yeah. like this shoe to get every year, but this one is like, I would say unanimously by like, like all outlets this has been like shoe for everyone majority of the people yeah, out of, there a lot of people out there really like this shoe like a lot because of what it stands for and then it's like it's like kind of like a mocha three but you got the night here in the back it's more luxurious you got the ama sign there and it's a cool sneaker why you better try it. You trying them on? Shit. <laughs> hey hold on guys 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 i want you to just you know peek outside real quick it's, it was raining the entire entire morning. Ah, it was okay. He gonna snap me and say this is his rain shoe. Bro, wow, bro, that's, that's crazy. Bro, that's that's crazy. crazy. I did it for shits and giggles. Cause I knew they were gonna shits and giggles. giggles. Wow. <laughs> I knew I knew they would I knew they would gel off me and they would have something to say because they always have something to say. Can't come to work and you know do my do my work and mind my business without these guys gelling off me. Oh, you can get the on feet. Too tight. Nah, like the nine. Jeez. Damn, this just look fire on feet. Honestly, damn. Lie. The nine do fit actually. Like, man, you might as well just keep those, bro. This just look clean. You got a thousand dollars on this feet. Okay. <laughs> Word, that ass thousand right there. Eight hundred on. That's eighteen hundred on the feet. We're not gonna speak about that one day he had the travelos on the right. I was got Travis, so no, I Jordan was two on the left. On the left. <laughs> Another unboxing. <laughs> After I just talked a bunch of crap to Burn yesterday, saying he's rich, it would have been really bad if my EEs got dropped here today. Yeah, too. This is a piece I've been waiting for. When you see the team, you understand, but I've been waiting to buy this hat or like this team's hat. There weren't any good hats out there for this team that I personally like. And then when I was looking for the hat that Berwin has, not the one he has specifically, but like same style, just with a different team, it popped up and like I instantly threw an offer. He accepted the offer and like I had to have this shoe. I mean, this hat. Damn. This hat's crazy. Yeah, off white pine thing right there. Damn, this hat is. Put, put it on the, on the fresh cut. Chill, sure, chill, sure, not the fresh cut. And it's so clean, like no stains inside. I think this was new without tag. If you look at these hats, a lot of them are chopped online. So glad to really have this hat. It's going on vacation with me. Now I'll wait for a fit pick when I get back. Oh, right. you got to wear those with like the pine greens, what? shorts, and the hat, and then the crazy tee. Crazy tee, that's like In crazy. Jamaica? Damn, that Tony Stewart Shit. I have. Shit. All the way from Just Nice. By the beach? I feel like growing, guys. <laughs> I feel like growing, like, I feel like big money right now. But yeah, fire that hat, hard. literally on fire. I hope Broadway sees this because we've been talking about it. Just looking to get a little cash for these. Uh, cool. Together? Yeah, all, all three. Right. How much you looking for for this stuff? Whatever I can get. No price in mind. I heard that these could maybe go for like 100 each. I'm not sure, but. I'm sure yeah. Oh, you called, right? Yeah, I called okay, them before. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not the OG list. box. I mean, I know you know that. Nah, that's, <laughs> no, that's what I just remember you talking about the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. These I might hold off on. Yeah. 
just because it's a little, yeah, a little too smoke sure. and lemons right now we just haven't been lucky with but yeah these two i can definitely see i'll do 200 for both of them yeah yeah that's cool and i, I just pass on yeah three. absolutely man um yeah Vemo's out apple pay yeah like a that. demo i got um cool. can i see the Vemo please the code yeah oh the card oh the code the code oh. yeah um like your, your qr code oh. and i have like an ad name under it Shout out to those guys, pulled up, sold us some stuff. It's funny because we just sold this, I think, like yesterday. We're gonna start off here. We got some Wolf Grade 3, it's pretty decent condition, not bad. Probably gonna sell for like 150 on eBay. And then right here, we got the white metallic silver. Needs a wipe down, I'm not gonna lie. There's a little scuff on the toe. But again, once we clean this up, the shoes are gonna look a lot better. The shoes pretty clean, honestly. It just needs a wipe down. Literally, all it needs is just a wipe down. Also, guys, like I would say, like, if you're gonna sell a shoe, not even just us, uh, just like any store in general, just try cleaning your shoes before you sell it because you can get a couple extra dollars like actually like 20 30 dollars that's usually like the difference and you getting like a hundred and maybe like i don't know 125 just because you gotta take time you gotta clean the shoe or just other people they gotta clean the shoe whether they like they use different products or whatever or how they go about it but just keep that in mind that when you guys are selling the shoe and you guys say oh all you have to do is clean it it sounds easy but again that's that's taking time out and doing something that you could have done but again just keep that in mind clean the shoe up a little bit and you will make a couple extra dollars even if you sell on your own you're gonna make a couple extra dollars if you just clean the shoe up but it's about two o'clock we try to get Dave's. <laughs> We've been literally trying for like how long now? How long have we literally like how many times? Like three or four times already? Yeah. And we tried last week. Like every time we tried, we tried days, bro. We were off by like 15 minutes. They literally just like some some weird reason, like they changed their hours. So now they close at 145. And it's literally two o'clock. And we just tried to order. When Berwin tried to process it, it wouldn't let him. And we were just like mad confused. They changed their hours now. So it's like 10 to like 145, which is pretty weird. Uh, it's pretty weird time. Who's gonna order a sandwich at that time? You know what I'm saying? Like 12 o'clock is like the best time when it be open because that's like lunch like 12 to like 2 is like that lunch hour you want to you know make sure you get some orders in at that time but so we're hungry we're trying to figure out what we're going to eat now we never have a plan b because we always have a plan a and plan a never fails now we gotta go back to the drawing board recoup and um see what we're going to eat here are hyper royal ones size 11 you guys have on ebay okay that stock both are New dust stuff to be trying on. Oh, man. Look at this guy right here. I missed the drip behind the camera. <laughs> the, the world knows. The world knows. knows. <laughs> Everybody watching the YouTube channel knows. Let me go get you the hype. I appreciate it, bro. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. you guys, busy this afternoon or just kind of getting. Oh, it's a little busy. Yeah, the holidays and shit is crazy. Yeah, the holidays are crazy. Uh, Everybody's trying to get. Get this stuff before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted the cool grays. Yeah, I know. Stuff like that. I wasn't feeling the cool grays, to be honest with you, man. I, I'm more of the breads. You're the second person to say that. Yeah. Back to back days. Someone else said that yesterday. Yeah. Well, they said the quality wasn't there for them. I do think the breads are the best ones. Yeah, so. I prefer the bread 11s. What did you have in uh, mind price wise for each? I was looking to try and get 550 for both. Oh, man. Nothing beats the smell of a fresh pair of Jordan ones, man. What you thinking? Where, where are we at? Is, I definitely want these. No, no. You, I don't need those no you're more. Gonna, you're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna be over. Yeah. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna give you cash. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, I appreciate it. No, no problem. I'm just looking at this one. Cause the market on this one is kind of weird. Yeah. I probably want to be at like five here to give you fifty back. On top, we had these up at four fifty. Yeah. So uh, I'll probably want to be there. That's so a 500, 450, give you 50 back. I could do okay. it. I'm a fan of the YouTube show, so definitely. Thank definitely you. Definitely do that for you guys. Appreciate the hard work you guys be putting in. Thank you, man. We yeah, no doubt. Yeah, of course. Can we give you 30 cash and then 20 Venmo sale, PayPal? I don't pay anything. Yeah, I got PayPal. That's not a problem. Right, cool. Yeah, no doubt. No. Appreciate no problem. it. Can I see your PayPal, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top Shelf Kicks, the place to be. Let's grab the pair of Hyper Royals. My guy right here behind the camera. Somebody somebody got to film him right now. Who could grab the camera real quick? Catch, <laughs> catch his outfit for the death. Jordan, grab that. Yes. Man. Look at this outfit. My guy's got the drip right here, man. Watch out for him. He's trouble right there, man. He is trouble. He's trouble right I can there. attest that he is trouble. Every time I see a new video, he's got he he outdoes himself with the outfit. So this is trouble right here. Watch out, Mr. Drip. <laughs> Said it. Said it. These is four brand new. How much were you looking for for everything? Uh, seven here. I think it was like 240 to 230 for the smaller sizes. Okay. 180 on the Shadow 2.0 and 340 for the Sakai. And you said possibly you, you want to trade for the UNCs, right? Yeah, that or the Rookie of the Year. All right, here we go. 13, right? Yeah. All right. Came up to 1150. I ran the numbers for the 12 and the 13 was cool. The Sakai's was just a little high. I came down to three here. 
and then the nine and the nine and a half i was at 215 a piece which came up to 1150 so this was 670. you had said seven for yeah. three yeah i'd probably uh what was it 1150 uh 1150 yeah uh yeah i'll do that you want to do that and then i'll probably take the unc you want to take the uncs all right cool he can be honest he can be got those he asked for trash jordan you said you were at how much cash 1150 1150 cash you were at we had these at a thousand ships yeah for like two we owe him yeah this is cool you like 950 we owe you 200 that's cool uh what's the best way for you oh the motors out of you have you need a bag uh no i got them Dude, those, those things are beautiful. One of my boys had them when they first dropped, and I think got them under retail. So now, kind of like bro, <laughs> I was buying them also for two hundred. That's what they were going for, and I was so mad at myself for buying so many. Probably want to be at like three eighty for both. Uh, I was at two twenty here, and then I was at uh, one sixty here. You said three what? Uh, three eighty. I mean, I'll add it here, basically. So it's essentially the same thing, but I'll just add the ten here. So I'll pay you three ninety. So it's basically me giving you 170. Honestly, I wanted to be I wanted to be at two for the for the bubble gums, but just because we we haven't had a pair in yet, I think it'd be good to have. That's fine. That's cool. Yeah. PayPal, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. So shout out to our usual customers for coming by and selling and trading us some good stuff. I'll start off here because you know it's what's on the table already. Lately, used pair of lightning fours just need to get cleaned up on the bottom. But you guys know what we do with this. Should I get these again? Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Not gonna do it again. One pair of lightnings, and then our first time seeing this shoe. Um, this shoe has two different names. So we have. Um, you got any fire res? Fives. Yeah. Yeah. We should have. You got five. ten or ten and a half. Might have both, sure, honestly, just depending on which size you like up. best. Definitely have a tank. I definitely saw a tank when I was scanning back there. 75. Yeah. So it'd be 575. That's not 575. Bad for two and then you yeah. were going to pay how much 5 worth? 550. Yeah. Yeah, my fault. It would have been 525. My fault. Right, I'll, I'll get these ones in the turbos. Want to do that? Right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What should I do? You did. The wallet? Yeah. That would be. Yeah. They're clean, bro. Here you go, bro. Thank you. No problem, bro. Appreciate Thank you, bro. You, bro. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. We're back to finally, after like an hour, to review the sneaker. One thing I noticed, like, going StockX, they have different names for like certain sneakers sometimes. Like, on StockX, it's just called like the Atmosphere, because technically it is the Atmosphere. That's what it says on the box. But on GOAT, this is called the Bubblegum. I'm calling it the Bubblegum. I thought the, um, the pink was regular leather, but it's patent leather, which is a game changer for men, not in a good way, because again, I feel like that makes the shoe ugly. For females, I feel like it's a really nice shoe. It's like, can't get the blue chills, you can get these. Would you buy your girl these? Uh, I mean, she doesn't like pink, so I would say no. Bro, you buy your girl these. I would buy my girl those. I'm with Gary. My girl doesn't like pink either. I do think this is a nice shoe. I think this is a really cute shoe. Is this shoe. navy? Yeah, it's navy. Oh, what the heck? Cool to see this shoe in hand, because I think this dropped back in December. I think this shoe is probably still within like a week or so, just because it's the first one we had. Good size. Good size. Um, Also, that was the first stuff. We also bought some lightnings. The Kai and the U Shadow 2.0. The lightnings just... Fall into my lap. Got a size 12, 9, and 9.5. And Both brand new and also a used 9.5, like I said before. Sakai's, it's the gray one. So anyone out there looking for a size 13, I feel like there's been a couple people when the shoe dropped that was asking for a 13. We do have a 13. And then a really clean VNDS, literally VNDS, um, Shadow 2.0. Also, as I'm lacing these and cleaning them, bought some Alexander McQueen's. Yes, we don't buy designer. But again, if you get it for like a certain price, then yeah, we will. You know, I know it's a little confusing, but it, got, it just got to make sense for us, you know, because designers not the easiest shoe to sell they don't have a, any high value really used this was gary's buy by the way they ended up with the fit <laughs> Damn, that was interval. Damn. The only reason why we bought them is because we literally just had a pair and they sold like not too long ago. Like so, yesterday, um, something. Yeah, something like that. So I asked A if he wanted to buy them or not. He said, yeah, sure. If it was for this price, it got to make sense. And then we ended up getting that price. So um, it was a good deal. The profit had spoken. Can't follow up after that. It's about 5.52. Probably wind down really, really soon. Today was just kind of like a weird day. I would say like today, like they just feel like mad, like gloomy. We so didn't get days. Cool, we bro. really, really. Oh we wanted Dave's. Gosh. We've been trying to get Dave. Dave's, if you're watching this Word, or bro. whoever owns Dave's Delicious Deli, can you guys please send us what's your sandwich? I'm a, I got the Kim's fish sandwich. I got this sweet chili customized uh, buttermilk coated. <laughs> Exotic. 
uh, chicken sandwich. I got a buffalo chicken sandwich and waffle fries. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like waffle fries and stuff. Sweet but potato? Nah, Who's sweet potato? Sweet potato. Sweet potato, waffle fries. Waffle fries. So, literally, we've been planning this since last week, bro. It's going on a month now. Because we haven't gotten it since me and you got that time. Yeah. Like, before I got sick, so. Um, Damn. That's literally, <laughs> Yo, that's, that's literally, like, almost four weeks now. I think, yeah, almost Damn four weeks. Damn it, Dave. Damn it, Dave. <laughs> hey, bro, what you want? Like, like, yeah, you might not see me much today, but I want to shout out Ben. Not sure where Ben's from, because these are getting authenticated, but Ben hit us up. He said he found us via YouTube. He wants some stickers. So, we're going to throw some stickers in with these crates ones here we got the lightning fours used this pair sold everybody in the comments i know yesterday i mentioned uh yellow sneakers don't do well in the long run and all you guys were like you bought 200 pairs of lightning fours like how could you say that i meant yellow dunks that's what i meant guys obviously i think these are going to do well but they're doing well for us so there's a big difference in my past of buying sneakers that are yellow to literally sit on and me buying lightning fours because everyone keeps asking us and buying lightning fours from us so yeah the more you know but you got me yeah you got me you guys got me Ha 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 All the like 10 or 20 people who like the comment that you know got me you guys got me So we're gonna get everything uh, packed up just so everyone pulled up today. Are we gonna do one and done? I guess Kyrie Irving's coming back tonight. What's the over under? I need to I'm going under and I'm taking the Pacers <laughs> Just kidding, Kyrie. Do your thing, man. We gotta go to this shit, man. I need you. We need you out there. All right? The mayor of New York, cut it out. Nah, We're gonna bad, need him. Bro. We're gonna he's need him. All right? You see that? Dance. We good. You know what what man? Find him. Let him play. Find him. He got it. After like the fifth time he plays home, it's only 5,000 every single time. That's bro, life for the Nets. send that fine crazy. Once you get to the playoffs, <laughs> yo, we running this shit up. Bro, if, if, they, <laughs> if, they, if, they, if they do 16 straight, right? That's eight home games, bro. That's 40. That's 40 bands. What? That's light. That's a call for Anyways, uh, that's about it for Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll film a little bit tomorrow. Get some um, better footage and all that. One and done real quick. Wow, I forgot. We, we put air in the ball, guys. Look at that. All right, peace. We forgot to mention something. Today's Jordan's last day because he's going on vacation to Jamaica. Cue the uh, music. Cue the beaches. Cue the water. Cue the uh, reggaeton music. Is it reggaeton? Reggae, reggaeton. Cue it. R.I.P. Bob Marley. Anyway, Jordan, you have anything else before you uh, leave to go to Jamaica? You said you have to clear protocol. Though. I took my PCR on Monday because it says you have to do it three days before you leave. They lacking because I still haven't got my results back. So as of right now, I'm supposed to be going to Jamaica tomorrow till next Tuesday. First trip since 2019. That's crazy. Almost three years. What are you most excited to do in Jamaica? <laughs> Charlie Wallen. <laughs> I know what he's thinking too, so. Hey, no. <laughs> Definitely do what Charlie said. Sit on the beach, put your feet in the sand, drinking a nice red stripe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love red stripe. That's what I. That's what I would think about Food. being in Jamaica. All inclusive, so. Oh. oh. Run it up. Any white? <laughs> Whoa, I don't want to die now. Well, if you can buy me a bottle of that at the airport, please. Ooh. I'll take one. That's on the tab. Hot sauce? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of hot sauce you want, honestly. I just find the hottest one. Oh, they, they have illegal hot sauce or like special hot sauce there? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bro doesn't need the hot sauce, but I'm again the hot sauce anyways. Anything else? Not much. It's about 7 o'clock. We just forgot to mention that. We're going to finish this horse game. Hope Jordan has a wonderful time in Jamaica because that's great. I take this up with me on vacation. All right. YouTube, what's up? Today is Thursday. As you can see, we have a nine pack, not a 12 piece, 10 piece, but a nine piece. Nothing too crazy here. I do want to shout out Mitchell. I believe he's in California. He's been copping a lot of sneakers from us. So I'm very appreciative of that. He's ordering stuff. It doesn't even arrive to his house and he's ordering more stuff. So we're very thankful for that. This pair right here, Georgetown 3. I really think that Georgetown 3 is a sleeper. Navy blue, classic silhouette, of course. Elephant print. This pair is heading to Puerto Rico. We got some super bronze. This pair right here, Air Max 180. I'm a big fan of Ultramarines or one of my favorite sneakers to wear all the time. I need this shoe in a black and pink. If you're out there and you have them, 11 and a half, black and pink, CDG, Air Max 180, hit me up. I'll buy them. Was that your pair? No. Nah. I think it sold his, <laughs> yeah. You know, these are really rare. This pair is pretty beat up, but it sold for under 200 shipped. And, you know, check brand new prices on these. They're, they're crazy. Here we got the Blue Oats. Lightly used, those sold for like 130 shipped. Remember these guys, that Olympic foam posit? If you ask me personally, this is one of the better foam posits that they did. What do you think? I mean, yeah, I mean, that was back in 2012 when they went to London. So I don't Wow. It wasn't 2012. It had to be. These came out 2016, 17. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> so, so you said 2012 was London. That was London. 2016. Four or six later, it's 2016. Yeah. So I don't know. Whatever. We'll look them up. Anyway, this is a cool shoe, man. As you can see, it's like white, but it's pearl. So the white kind of transitions to look different ways. We got gold tips on the laces here, and uh, we got someone coming in. I forgot we do have a 10 pack. This is a Jordan One box. I don't know if you guys could tell how big this box is, but it's big. This is a size 15. Wait, <laughs> is that the is that the that we did with the? Uh, yeah. It is. <laughs> wow. This is the famous TikTok obsidian Man. right on time with Bruins TikTok going viral a million views so golf clap for that one that was a really fun experience funny story about that one i just have to tell this story because i feel like everything in life is about timing including like things like this so berwin made the tiktok it was really funny jordan was in it berwin forgot to delete like some text right that was just playing through the whole end of it and i was like bro like it's a funny tiktok but i think we have to redo it and then jordan was sick so we couldn't redo it with jordan so i'm like yo berwin let's just like redo it today and then we dropped it right and i'm like nah let's delete it and like drop it in a couple hours so i don't know timing's everything if you ask me personally mm -hmm. but uh funny how that works anyway size 15 obsidians worn by berwin <laughs> <laughs> so i should have increased the price but these only sold for like 315 dollars ship so i think that's a really good price i know my size these use you know go for like 400 bucks so anyway we're gonna pack up all this stuff get it shipped out and see what happens all right so i'm here with evan and charlie what's up What's up, gang? What are you guys doing? We're trying to do inventory. So we're having, we're trying to make it better, faster to find stuff for you guys. So we know what we have, you know, just taking inventory. It's a new year. We're trying to elevate for you guys, all right? We're mm. trying to make things better, do elevation. bigger things for y'all. Word. The people, the people have been saying in the comments that they want to see you guys more. So really, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> us, the guys behind the scenes, you know. Charlie, especially, someone was really worried about you. Oh yeah, I peeped that. Thank you, I appreciate you. <laughs> you know, we've been around. You know, the world in a scary place right now. So you know, I'm trying to keep everybody safe. The boys, you guys, you know, we don't want nobody catching what's going on out there. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't see them often on camera, it's because they're in the warehouse. You know, they take care of stuff behind the scenes. So we really appreciate them. What got you guys into? sneakers for me what got me into sneakers was michael jordan <laughs> just watching michael jordan that kind of got me into sneakers that that got me into caring about sneakers and what i wear and stuff like that so that's kind of what got me into sneakers what about you charlie uh that's my family insert Vin <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, but my family was like super into uh, sneakers So I have uncles and cousins who were super into sneakers And I wasn't really into them until like maybe freshman year of high school Where like my cousin, shout out him, shout out Ricky um, He usually watches this um, But he got me into sneakers and ever since then I've been hoarding sneakers <laughs> How's it been working at Top Shelf so far? It's been amazing so far I mean all the guys have been super helpful If we don't know what we're, you know, supposed to be doing They kind of take the rein and they're like, okay you could help out here you could do this i mean so far it's been really really cool everybody's been really really nice and i've been enjoying working here for sure for me it's been a big sigh of relief well before this i mean i still have the job but i work at a retail store i'm not gonna say what retail store but you know it's like dealing with certain things every day just kind of like was getting to me and i just needed like a little break from it i guess you could say because i like the job don't get me wrong it's just certain things that were going on at the store it was just annoying and it just so happened perfect timing with ag he was started to look for people and you know it's been great Berwin and Jordan were here when I first started they were super helpful pretty much guided me through everything that I had to do like especially like um getting orders out and then I knew Gary was coming back eventually and you know lo and behold he was just like he treated me like normal like you know like pretty much like I've been working here forever so it's been great for me I really have no complaints whatsoever so if you guys want to see them more often they will be in the camera more often don't worry yeah, you know will. they're okay <laughs> everything's all right we're in the cut you know which we're, we're we're behind the scenes trying to get the warehouse um set trying to get the warehouse in order just trying to help out the best we can hey guys i'm back doing another unboxing or unwrapping really looking forward to this package it's cold outside so i have to get something cozy hopefully it fits me i was kind of skeptical i, I made sure to look at the length and the, and the fit to fit but I still decided to top it so and i've been looking for a fleece like this for a while so oh look they even got a little thank you sticker <laughs> Ooh. Damn, is that low? Oh, this is gonna fit. What brand is that? It's on a Masmania tag. Sweet. So basically like... That looks like a polo piece. These fleeces like have all over print all around. Feels pretty warm, so... Good buy on that? 40 bucks on it. Not too bad. Yeah. Let's get the details. Pretty cool. See the zipper works. 
It's always important. The zipper does work. Oh wow, it even goes on the inside too. That is sick. But yeah, a little nice unboxing. Uh, Pretty cool. Let's see what else is next on. What shipping? Alrighty. <laughs> Essential sweater, I think this is a large. No, medium. Okay. I have a power phase in a simple brown color. Okay. It's a Grateful Dead sweater from what's it called? The, the Chinatown Club. Mm -hmm. Brought these back because these are getting no use in my house. Do you have prices in mind for anything? Uh, these. Probably 60 bucks for these. Okay. 200 if you can for these. Okay. This, 100 bucks. Okay. 60. All right. 90. Okay. This, I think 100 we'd pass on just because we have brand new and packaged ones that like we kind of can't sell right now. All right. So what size is this? Uh, medium, if I'm not mistaken. Medium, okay. Anything that you could just throw in mind for this? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll see what we could do. Yeah. All right. And these, you said 60? Yeah, 60. All right, cool. And the Yeezy's 200? Yeah. All right, let's see what we can offer. Yeah. We'll go from there. And you're just looking for cash for everything? Yeah, cash for everything. Okay, so 60 on the T is going to be tough because that's like where it's at. I could do like 40 and 40 to make it 80 if you wanted. Do um, 50 and 40? Let's see where we get to with the yeah. others. All right, no problem. Uh, the Grateful Dead crew neck is cool, but I don't know. I just feel like value-wise, it, it's probably a little high up there for us. Yeah, I'd be a lot lower on that. You're yeah, probably no better problem. off yeah. trying to move it on your own. So we probably pass on this guy. This, you said you just kind of want an offer on. I'm down for offers too. What do you think the lowest you want to do on this is? Tell me a number. 40? You're 50? What about, what about the Grateful Dead? I could do 50 on that too. What was retail on the crew neck? I think 120 on that. Wow. You said 200 on these? Yeah. They didn't come with box when we sold them to you, right? No, no. I kind of just don't really want this. It might sell, but I kind of just, I don't know. I'm kind of like on the fence about right. what, where I'd be at. So I could do 240 together with these two. Okay. And then I'd probably be, what did you, you said you wanted fit. I'd probably st be stuck at the 40. 40, 40. If it was cash, obviously if it was store credit, we could do better. So you'd be looking at 320 total without this. 320 total? If you wanted to do this, I can make it 350 total, but it might be worth holding on to that. Cause I just, I'd, I'd want to sell it low. All right, I'll concede this. You guys can take that. 320? Yeah, that's Got good. You. Perfect, bro. All right, cool. Um, do you have Venmo? I have Zelle. Okay, we could try, let me just Venmo. I got, I got Venmo. This makes it a lot easier, that's fine. Yeah, sorry about that. The Zelle gets, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. We run out of the Zelle quickly, <laughs> pretty much. So guys, we just got some stuff in. I'm gonna be honest, clothing wise, we have just bins and bins and bins. So I try to pass on clothing unless it like really, really makes sense. In this case, it kind of did for me. Here we got the Essentials hoodie. I'm not really a big fear of God Essentials guy, but quality on like this, what is this like knit or mm -hmm. whatever? This is beautiful, man. And we bought a couple of these the other day, brand new in package that haven't been selling. But I figured this one, we paid 40. Obviously we can make a little bit of cash on it. Here we got a Rick Rubin tee. I didn't really know what this was going for. I thought it'd be going for more, but it's only going for about 60 bucks. So we had to pay a little less than that obviously on it here we got a pair of berwin's favorite the power phase just kidding yeah these literally look like the reeboks you would find in marshall's but obviously since they're power phase people want them and last but not least we have the yeezy 750 right i'm like forgetting what they're called because it's been so long since they've come out yeah 750 because yeah. 700 are the oh yeah, yeah 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 so here we got the chocolate edition he actually purchased these from us back in the day i guess he wasn't wearing them so he brought them back which is totally cool obviously funny story about these i remember when the black pair dropped i uh built a plug at Foot Locker, this chick who worked there and i literally offered her i think at the time 1200 bucks for the black pair if she oh can get God. it for me 1200 bucks no honestly it was 1200 to 1400 dollars at the time she met me in a parking lot early in the morning gave me the pair i paid her i brought them straight to flight club i think i flipped them for like 1800 so oh, you know wow. it, was, it was a decent flip but at the time it's just crazy to think that resellers were willing to pay 1400 dollars for a shoe to go make four or five hundred bucks and in reality let's check actually right right now while i'm here do i even have my phone it's gotta be somewhere okay cool let's just check what the yeezy 700 is going for nowadays just because it would be interesting to me to know so the triple black right now i believe i got a size nine at the time triple black size nine right now is going for 1175 dollars on goat before for shipping this sneaker dropped in 2015 it is 2022 right mm -hmm. that's seven years so imagine you bought those and said oh these are gonna go up and you stashed five pairs when they're going for 1800 to 2000 dollars you stashed them because you thought they'd go up it's been seven years and they went down to 1100 1200 bucks obviously instant ship is 1700 new with damaged box 1150 1200 i say that to say this obviously you know the sneaker game is up it's down one day dunks are hot one day yeezys are hot one day ones are hot to me that's just crazy to see 
I'm glad that I got rid of that shoe and didn't just hold on to it. But man, $1,400 to make $400 real quick. I think at that time, pretty much every Yeezy was like $1,000 or better, or at least like $500 or better for sure. Anyway, enough rambling on here. We're gonna continue to move stuff around. As you see here, we've been kind of working on this hat area. I wanted to kind of take all the toys and stuff, put them up there, move some to the warehouse and kind of get it clearer. As you can see, this guy has some cool stuff that he's moving around. And yeah, other than that, let's see what happens today. So you don't have a lot of girls or guys coming no, in. No, I mean it, it's it's not you know it's a good shoe to have for sure. Just usually six weeks is harder to move for us. But this beluga. Yeah. Okay, cool. And you got some other stuff. And these are the only ones you look at are they're not their stock. Okay, cool. Do you have price in mind for those? The no. ones that aren't. I feel like everyone won these things, man. I'm not gonna go up in price like the old like the old G's. It's just not right now. I don't know. I feel like that's going to take so long. And then they'll probably restock again. You think? I mean, everything does, kind of. If you really think about it, eventually, yeah, yeah. like, kind of everything. What you got on these? Anything in mind? Nah, I just brought them in to see what you say. All right. These, nothing in mind either? No. Nah. I know these are going for a lot new, I'd assume, but I just, like, use. I mean, I brought them so you can see them, but she literally wore them one time. Yeah, they look really clean. Maybe, like, uh, 300 together? What is that, like, uh... Like 125, 175, something like that. Nah, just keep the... You want to keep these? Yeah. yeah. Keep the Yeezys? What do you want for the Yeezys, though? Like three or something? I know it's like a weird market. I know they like, you know. My it's thing is just... Away. What do you know what they're going for right now? We didn't even check. Brand new, I think they're four. Uh, no, brand new, they're 488. Used 290 is the lowest. But they're like the... Yeah, they are pretty good. <laughs> I just like to look at like if people are making offers. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like if this was a size like 11 or 12, it would be a lot easier for us. Six is kind of like, you kind of just got to put it up there, be patient, and maybe someone will hit that buy it now button. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. here for the ladies to see. That's why. That is true. But you know, ladies don't like used stuff. Usually for us. And the, like the little kids who wear that size never like, you know, actually pay that. But yeah, if you want to do these three, that's cool. Yeah. How would you think about the, the easy? They're clean. They're not like the ones no, on No, they're, def they're <laughs> definitely clean, yeah. What did you want for them? Like, what were you I don't know. You always give good prices. No, I, no, I try. I mean, we try, <laughs> but I mean, because I was going to say like, if you wanted like a certain amount, we could try to sell them once they sell, send you the money. You know what I'm saying? Like a co-signment type of thing. I would assume cash-wise, I mean, we could come up to two on these and 125 here, but just being the size, I'd probably not want to risk it other than that, you know? Yeah. How about I hold and then see? Yeah, no, take it. Yeah. Do you guys have gold at all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To sell? Yeah. Yeah, I would just take like a couple of these wipes, clean that yellow part off, wipe them the bottoms down, put them on go. And then just, I'd assume maybe you can get like 280, 350-ish. So you want to just do these three? Or? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay, cool, that's fine. So, uh, what did I quote you on these? I, I said 270, 270 or 275? Between 275 and 270 on the blueberries. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Cool. Come on, double check the message. So we'd be at 670 total for all three. 670? Yeah. Alright. What's the best way for you guys? However you want. I, gotta, I think you usually do. Uh, so. Zell. Can we do PayPal or? Yeah, I think you do PayPal with me yeah, too. Yeah, that's cool. Just because Zell gets runs out pretty quick. Oh, yeah, there. All good? Yes, Guys, we are back. One thing I wanted to mention that I haven't mentioned yet. Hopefully, we put this episode out before January 12th, which is a Wednesday. As of right now, we will be closed that day. We have a full day of uh, content shooting in here for something we're not allowed to speak about. But we will be closed that day, so please don't come by on Wednesday. Uh, we will post it on Instagram, etc. Sorry if you planned a trip and you came by and we weren't. Here. Anyway, we just bought some stuff. Here we got a Samba Dunk. I'm gonna be honest. I thought these would do a lot better than they did. I think the reason they don't do as well is the sparkles. Like if this wasn't sparkly, I feel like people would. Be more inclined to it also this is a little different this is like a little carpet fiber action what have you there's that we got a beluga another beluga and then this one right here man the dusty olive size six so you know don't see size sixes too often gary's been getting everything together when it comes to the shelves and it's been a pretty slow day which you know nothing wrong with a slow day charlie and evan are doing a lot of inventory we, we're trying to develop a new inventory system so hopefully it all works out accordingly and other than that maybe we'll shoot some new content today we'll see and let's see what else happens excuse my hair i've been wearing a beanie all day it's kind of cold but you know what we're out here i just figured we're gonna walk around and see kind of what's going on in store because sometimes i don't even walk around and see what we actually have on the racks available and uh kind of talk about some of the stuff we have 
on deck. First off, we have a little bit of a jacket rack here. I'm gonna be honest, this is like nothing, kind of, if anything, the tip of the iceberg. If you go to our eBay store, we have all types of hoodies and jackets and weird coats and stuff like that. But we're just gonna go in some quick honorable mentions in this rack. This thing right here is fire. If it doesn't sell soon, I'll probably just start wearing it. I'm not really a Nuggets fan, but you really just never see the old Nuggets stuff like that. Just reminds me of uh, Dikembe Mutombo and those old jerseys. The color on it, it's just so clean, the white, the patch, and it's that lovely 2XL. So you know you know what we do with 2XL, we embrace it. And that's what you gotta do with this jacket. It's a beautiful thing. Obviously right here, Bro knows all about this stuff. Mm -hmm. Just classic. Always gotta have a bull's piece in the closet. This right here, I mean, this is kind of like more top tier stuff, but definitely a nice one. I'm gonna be honest though, I just kind of hate how the half zips fit. They always fit a little short and weird, you know, taller people like me, it's just kind of annoying, but you know, we got this in an XL. This right here, of course, is interesting because, you know, Cleveland Indians are no longer the Cleveland Indians. So people always say like this stuff will go up in value. You know, I don't know how much it really go up in value, but it's definitely a nice piece. What's his name? Uh, Wahoo, I think. Chief Wahoo or something like that. Indians. What size is this? A large. This one's cool just because uh, if you saw my flea market video, I got it. It was out there in the rain. It was a crazy video, but you know, I definitely ran through the wash. It cleaned up really nice. It's just a, you know, different type of jacket. You just don't really see this style. Pro line on the sleeve. These crazy uh, logo athletic snaps that are all intact. And then that back hit with the inner hood. Giants are done up, but it is what it is. It's a cool jacket. Speaking of uh, football teams, this is the last one we'll go through, but this Dolphins one, man. This is just something so classic about that. The, the back hit is just crazy on it. 75 patch is crazy. This is definitely a nice one. As you can see, we got some hats. Speed racer joint is crazy. Uh, I know someone hit me up about this and said they were going to pay. And then, you know, pump faking in the DMs. But it happens. Kind of want a lot for this one. This one's crazy. Berwin reshaped it. I reshape it. <laughs> hey, man, it's messed up. But, you know, the Bulls 23 is extremely rare in this hat. If you guys saw the episode where we, we found a bunch of these brand new hats, we, we still have a couple of these in stock. This joint right here is crazy. Crazy sting vintage hat. I've had it for a long time. I probably have it on our eBay store for a pretty high price. It's just they really don't make stuff like this anymore. It's a little beat up, but just stuff you you'll never see this. You know, walking into some random place, you have to find this stuff. So it's really cool to have it. It's all embroidered. Sting over there. NWO there. Got some random Supreme hats, stuff like that. Now we get to the wall. Might have to back up a little bit on this one. Gary, when you look at this wall, what is the first thing that you see? Uh, the blue moons. I think. Why? Because you, you like that shoe. I, I like that shoe and it's yeah. one of the more one of the more rare shoes on the on the the wall so far. I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably get gunned for this, but just looking at the wall, I mean obviously lightning four is the first thing I see because it's bright and it's like right in the middle. Regardless of that, I wanna talk about what we have on these shelves right now. Uh, most of the stuff that we have on the shelves is usually used. I try to keep the brand new stuff wrapped if it's brand new, but we have tons of stuff brand new. So obviously these two lightnings right here are used, but obviously as you guys know, we have tons of new pairs. I'm gonna say my favorite pairs right now on the walls gotta be this area here, man. For some reason th that Olympic seven is just for the love of the game, size 13, very, very clean. Then we got the 2012s. What size is this? Eight and a half. Eight and, uh. <laughs> Berwin knows about it. Berwin knows about it. Is this a new pair? No, this is lightly used. This is a nice shoe. You know it's coming out soon, right? Purple and black 13s. Purple and black 13s. I think that's a cool shoe. Berwin cue the picture. I definitely need two pairs 11 and a half. Stuff like that is extremely nostalgic. A black and purple Jordan 13. You just think about like Ray Allen wearing that or like Tim Thomas or just, I don't know. That's just super nostalgic to me. I know they're probably going to, you know, be a dud. But to me, I think that's cool. I think Jordan Brand's going the right direction with that stuff. Uh, speaking of that, another classic you can see right here playoff 13 this is size 12 feels a half size smaller i'd be wearing them we're still working on the racks here but uh you know we got some stuff 95 neons dang is this pair new yeah i think this pair is brand new holy smokes boom we're gonna go to some more jackets uh, as you can see we have some random stuff but to me i just need to talk about this right here you guys might have saw me find this in a flea market episode we haven't put it on the ebay store we're probably gonna put it on by the time you guys see this video but this is crazy. Look at that old Lakers patch. Also comes with the pants. I'm not gonna lie, I wish there was a huge Lakers hit on the back, but there's not, so it is what it is. Just gonna go to just like one or two things that I think are, you know, really cool pieces that kind of just, you know, get overlooked. Because honestly, it gets so crazy in here sometimes, you know, I forget. But of course, we got the classic Yankee. I mean, this one's classic, and I could already feel this is the one that has like that quilted inside, so it's gonna keep you warm with the hoodie under it. This one right here, man, that's sick. Of course, you know, we always got it rep new jersey so the new jersey devil stuff is crazy probably won't get that but the central ice tag good starter central ice on the inside you know you can match with the rangers but i'm not gonna go too crazy there and we got a few hoodies i'm gonna go to like one or two you no know, we got some supreme i mean this is nice because this is that supreme nike right there 
So that's pretty cool. I'm a Nike guy, obviously. But I think back here is kind of cool because we got a lot of vintage NBA warm-up type stuff. Suns, Lakers, Lakers. What we got here? Sixers. And of course, bing bong, Knicks. <laughs> You know, usually we have all our stuff priced in here or we try to have a lot of the stuff priced, but at the same time, we take offers. So if you guys come in here and see anything, let's just pan to that wall real quick, the slat wall. Gary, what's your favorite shoe on the slat wall? Uh, damn, this is our choice. Wow, we were just talking about NBA jerseys and someone just messaged us about a jersey. I would say either like the Trap 6, or I'm not gonna lie, like the Mocha. I was about to say, you just bought Mocha. Yeah, I don't really like the Michigan off-white dunks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I only like the green pair so far out of all of those. Not of the Sakai's, probably the Pine Greens, the Barneys we call them. That's probably it. Me personally, that Celtics Jordan 1 from the pack. Guys. <laughs> If you know, you know, this thing right here is crazy. I remember uh, acquiring this shoe. I probably got on eBay back in the day. Super hard to find 11 and a half. So I'm glad I have them. I wear them all the time. This pair is, I think, a size nine in really good condition. I know why it doesn't, they, like to everyone looking at it, it doesn't sell that well. I mean, the leather quality isn't the best. It's a little plasticky. But to me, I'm a fan of that. Bro, when you have these and you don't like them, right? Cause- No, they're kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, they were uncomfortable. I mean, they're different. Obviously the Jordan Air, but if you know, you know, man, this is like very rare sneaker. So to see it sitting on, on the shelf on the wall of my store you know it makes me happy because this is stuff that you couldn't acquire back in the day at least i couldn't when i was looking for it boom air max one dlx another great shoe obviously we can talk about the bemrys of course the jordan ones the sakai's which personally i'm not a fan of sakai's <laughs> you guys like sakai's Oh, I, like I was waiting for like one of y'all to be like, oh, I don't like them either. Or, I yeah, think they're great. The original ones are cool. They're better, I in my I opinion. Really, not like, I don't think I really like the I shoes, just, so. I just gotta keep it a buck, man. I don't really understand that. Like, I don't really like Sakai's. Like, just you like, see that one episode, it's Sakai, they'll buy. If it's a Sakai, they'll buy. I mean, some of them, like we have some in the back that we brought out the other day and like we checked price and they're like 900 bucks. That one too, the black and white one, that one's going for the high price right now. But yeah, I, I kind of just don't see the, the craziness with the Sakai's. You know, we did a lot of talking just now but you know it's been slow today we're getting a lot of inventory done these guys are going to eat some lunch slash brunch dinner soon uh we have a pickup coming hopefully that comes i probably should have told evan to take the ups but we'll do that tomorrow and uh let's see what else happens today top shelf hey what's up Mr. Aaron? uh it is hey, what's up, bro? John Davis, damn the winner <laughs> the undisputed congrats man thank what's you. going on thank you thank you i ended up doing no 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 of course I, it was funny i don't know if you saw the video we were talking about it and then we forgot to put that you guys ended up splitting but uh you were confident with your team as you should but you know how fancy football goes yeah uh yeah no nah, for sure we'll definitely uh plan on it so let me ask you so i know i got that 800 in credit yep i've been looking at the ebay store to kind of see what i've been looking at yep i know there's uh some other stuff that you don't really put on there you know yeah there, can I, like there's a few pairs that i'm interested in that i was hoping i could give you had maybe not list on ebay yeah yeah so let's 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 maybe break down a list real quick uh what were you looking for i got the i'm not going get threes off you but i got a half size two Oh wow, you got the threes? That's what's up. Cause we can't, we don't yeah, have like any of those. But I got it. They, they happen to, I, mean, I wear them all the time, but they're like a half size too big. Uh huh. Do you have them in an 11 and a half by any chance? Nah, we have none of those, honestly. Those are all came and went. But I'll keep those in mind. You would need a size 11 yeah, in I'm them. Not gonna, I'm not gonna make this long. It's only like three or four. Nah, no worries. Uh, the other ones I'm looking at is uh, the Great Five and a 10 and a half. The like OG white? Yeah. Okay, I don't think we would have those new, maybe possibly used, but I feel like if we had them used, they'd be on the eBay store already. Right, right. That's what um, I'm thinking also. I know you had a pair a few months ago. Yeah. Right? Just, like, I, I bought it from that other guy, and then they crumbled on me. Um, yeah. I don't know if you remember the last time I was in the store. Yeah, I do, I do, yeah. yep. The, the uh, pair from, like, oh, oh, I, I, I 06. I think I that on I think you had them a few months ago, and they went. White cement fours, I'm assuming you, you wouldn't have those in 10 and a half. No. White cement fours, no, 10 and a half. We just got an eight, but that sold already. And what size is that one? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? <laughs> yeah, nah, no, no 10 and a half in those. Is there anything that you saw on the eBay store that you were like, that yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah, or? Yeah, yeah. So I definitely wanted to get the, uh, the bread 11. Okay, brand new size. 10 and a half. 
Okay, so if you want me to put those aside for now, that's cool. If not, if you want to still think about it, that's fine too. I just don't want to like, you know, have nothing that you that you want. I'll, I'll, I'll take those and then can I just keep the rest of the store credit for now? Yeah, no, of course. That works. I'd probably like to take that 300 and use it to swap out. How you guys doing? How you doing? Yeah, if you, want, if you want to... I'll bring some pairs in along with the 300 and, you know... I'll keep my eye on the stories if something, you know, pops Yeah, for up. sure, but if you want me to put those aside for you, that's fine, and then you could just keep the rest in credit. All right, so I'll try to uh, swing by uh, maybe um, Saturday and grab those. All right, sounds good, bro. Congrats again. All right, man. All right, awesome. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Looking forward to uh, doing the league again next year. Awesome, man. See you soon. All right. All right. So, look at these for me. Like, tell you if they're, they're real? No, no, no. I'm done. I mean, sure, yeah, but I'm trying to see how much I can get for them. Oh, okay, cool. Do you have a price in mind for them? Um, I don't know. You could also mean it will work. Am I allowed to, like... Yeah, sure. Bro. Yeah, it's all good. Um, I'm going to be honest, man. Just because of, like, how the current market is doing on the cool grades that just came out, I might just pass on them. Um, okay. Just cause like they always dropped a lot brand new, mm -hmm. and you can like we just paid like two forty for a brand new pair of those. So like, I'd assume you don't want like super cheap on these. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I might just pass on those. That's all good, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you guys you. have any questions? Let us know. Do you have a price in mind for them at all? Uh, around two ten, two fifteen. Uh, two fifteen. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're not doing too well. Maybe it's cause it's the suede, but. They are pretty nice. Let's see what we can do. I haven't checked what market is on them, to be honest. Yeah, uh, do you have Venmo or something like that? Yeah, I got Venmo. Alright, cool. I could probably do two on them. That's yeah, probably where I'd be at. Two cash? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, cool. Uh, if you want to pull out your scan code. <coughs> How's everything good? Good, man. How about you? I'm alright. You said you got these as a gift? Yeah, my, my sister ordered them for me, but I hey, ordered them for myself. It's so. not a bad gift. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying there's not a lot of like good shoes with green in them. Yeah. You know that you, they like you could wear a lot. Um, this should go through any second. Double check you got it. Yep, got it. All good. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. Man. Guys, want me to tell you about <laughs> bad decisions? Turn around, bro. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best decision. These guys decided to get like Wendy's takeout and they called it in. I've never called in a order at a fast food restaurant. Whose idea was that? Definitely <laughs> burrowing. <laughs> Anyways, these just came in pine green threes. Gary, do you like these? Nah, not really. I like these, man. I know the suede is off, but I like these. Hopefully we'll be continue to, you know, get them in for around retail price. You know, the problem with a shoe like this is B grades might come out because of the suede. I know a lot of the pairs at Toe Box just doesn't look that good. These are okay, but usually with sneakers like that, I feel like, I don't know, a lot of B grades are gonna end up in outlets with like scuffed suede and glue stains and all that, but what uh, do you think? Uh, like you said, there aren't really like, you know, a lot of good green sneakers out there, but this is actually a really good one. Obviously if it was leather, like yeah. obviously it would have been better. I think Jordan Brand knows that. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like a black cement, except it's like green, so. If you're looking for that green shoe and, and like uh, a nice classic J, I think this is the way to go. They could have done better with the quality, like you said. You know, there's a lot, we've been getting a lot of pairs with like. Yeah, we definitely passed on a few just because the toe boxes like, looked. Yeah, like, like minor issues here and there. Yeah. But other than that, the shoe overall is a pretty good sneaker. You know, potentially gonna go up there, I think. You know, it looks like one of those shoes, but pretty good sneaker if you're looking, if you're trying to get in the game or if you're trying to get like a green J, uh, that's the way to go. So, yeah. Okay, so I said see. Do you have any prices in mind for this stuff at all? Uh, <laughs> Nothing at all. Um, I would say these two I don't know if I'd be interested in. Okay. Um, the crew necks possibly, I just kind of don't know where you're at, like roughly. Like, where'd you get them on? I uh, thrifted them. Oh, okay, cool. So you They're all vintage. Yeah, so you probably didn't, so you, like you thrifted them yourself, so you didn't like buy them like from like a resale store yeah. or some shit like that. So nothing really in mind for them at all? What were you thinking? I don't really, uh, I don't know. I've never been here. I don't know. We usually sell our um, Kunex for like 20 to 40 bucks each. So maybe like 50 cash for the stack, 60 store credit, something like that. Mm -hmm. Or if you have some in mind, let me know what yeah. you're thinking, like per Kunex. Yeah, I would do like 20 per Kunex. 20 per Kunex? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let me just see what we could do, and we'll go from there. 
The toughest one was a lot. Maybe that one I would do like 35. Okay, cool. Because yeah, that one's kind of different. Yeah, it's hard to find vintage tufts. 35? I don't know if you want to do that or hold on to them. It's on you. Pretty cool, but the Kleenex just don't really like yeah, yeah. too much in here. Uh, I'll do the Georgia one. For 15? Yeah. You want to hold on to that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, do you have Venmo or something like that? Mm hmm okay. Unless, did you... And if you find anything, yeah, feel yeah. free. That's do fine. Do you have... So, you want to just tra um, sell this one, right? Yeah. Or and use the credit. Okay, cool. That's fine. So, you want to hold on to all this stuff here. Now, what did you do for credit for this? Um... What did I say? I said 35. Oh wait, you would do 35. No, no, I, I was like yeah, 35 together. Yeah. yeah, maybe make it 45 together, credit. Mm, I'll just do the Georgia one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna just call this like 20, I guess. Okay. Um, I said that one was 40, and um, I could probably do like 45 on the shirt. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, 45 plus 40, take away 20, right? Uh, so you have 65 bucks. Uh, Venmo Zell, you wanna pay cash card? I'll put on a card. Thank you. We always have to sell them for like kind of like. How you doing? It's all good. This one is cool. It's heavy. Oh, I can text, email, printer, see if you need. Yeah, receipt. Don't need? Yeah, I'm on a receipt. Thank you, though. Oh, good. Appreciate it. I work. Nice to see you, man. Appreciate it. I know what we need. 180. I don't think I was. I think I was less than that, to be honest. I think I said 150, you can probably get 180 maybe. Okay. What are you looking for? Let me know. I might just pass on Yeezys, man, just because they're used. Okay. Like, use Yeezys are kind of been set. Like, just sitting here. What size is that? No, no. No, not too small. How's everything, boss? Good, good. 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 Make got, the, got the YouTube blowing up. Trying. Yeah, honestly, bro, I'd probably be at 150 cash. I don't remember exactly what we spoke about. Um, I think right, that's cool. I th you want to do that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, cool. And uh, you want to hold on to these, right? Cool. You got Venmo? Uh, Zell. 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 Okay. I like the watch, man. Thank you, brother. Just got this. Really? Yeah. Check this up. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Love your as well. Yeah, I like that. Get it. He wasn't kidding. Out wasn't the trunk. Kidding. Out the trunk, you know. Got a couple. Damn, it smells good in there. <laughs> That's really what the real incense so is. So what's up know? with this one? This one you want to hold, right? Yeah, those I'm gonna hold on. Okay. okay. They're going for a little more. And they did go down. We we took an L and Bill. Shout out to everyone who sold us those for the high Facts. before they went down. What's up with this? <laughs> the dunks? Let yeah. me know what's the best you're doing, though. You tell me. That's these also. I mean, I see retail is 110. Mm -hmm. so what do you want to do? You let me know. You let me know. The numbers we're working with. Like the blue ones, I'll get rid of them too. But I'll just pay the stock X prices. That's it. Could you do two on these? Two on those? Um, you want to check? And then I could check. This is Hyper, hyper Cobalt. Mm -hmm. I honestly like these. No one fucks with these. It's a five. It's a dope pair right here. These are probably at like 150. I'm yeah. passing it because you know the stock X. Yeah, I'll pay top of mine too. Two for these? Would you do 250? I couldn't. That's yeah, probably what we try to sell them for. Okay. Do 210. Okay. Probably best on those. I'll probably pass because these I paid like three for them. Yeah, so they went down a little been, bit. Would have been great for me. Yeah, I hear you. Anything yeah. else in this bag of goodies? No. Honestly, nothing. Just sold it. Yeah. <laughs> like Cereal, you know what I'm saying? How much for this? <laughs> Take it. DS. <laughs> All good. All good, my brother. Thank you, bro. How good? He's gonna let me go first. Let you go start a retail. Everything's new? Everything new. Damn, man. You're a magician with it, huh? Yeah. Make things come up here. Those are the deities I want to trade out. Those are mine. Oh, so you want to so yeah. keep this separate? Kind oh, of? No, no. If you don't have none, then you don't get none. I still got some more home for I got all the 380s out. Really don't like them now. Yeah, they're not really the popular, to be honest. These are the only ones I like. The crazy shits? Yeah, these are nice. You probably want cash for everything, right? And then to see like what we find in your size, of anything. Let's go with these right here. Which one are you giving for these? Yeah. What do you want, this one? 225. 
Uh, we're not too far off. I think the old one is like two. I'd probably be at two. Is that about pay? I don't know. These guys, these shits was up high. Now they low. Yeah, they were still hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I paid a lot. What are you going to need? You get 180 for these. I think that's fair. I'll double check it. These? Give me uh, 230 for you. Me? You know, who, don't nobody look you out like uh, I look you I'll out. See, look, I don't know what they're going for. Don't nobody look you out like I look you out. I come in here half the time, it's box, everything. I don't be caring. I just How much you said on the dunks, 180? Yeah. yeah that's, that's a joke. Okay. And you said 230? Yeah. Say three. Three. It was three. I don't know what this I'd probably be at 220. But, um, that's what they had. They had like 260 new. You got them. Okay. Um, and these guys, 245. 235, and for these right here, you can give me 240. This mm -hmm. one might be tough because that's three ages, honestly. Yeah, so, yeah, what is that, two? 220. Yeah, my, let me see. Yeah, these are these are tough for us, man. I'd, I'd have to be at, I don't know, you might want to hold these, I'll put it that way. I'd be at like 175 on this pair. These, I can check what I'd be at. I think you can get like two if you sent up these in. It's just they never sell for us. That's why when you came in asking for a 380, I was like, I hope I got one. They don't sell because they keep pushing shit. Nah, you're right. They want to keep smacking people in the head with colors and colors and colors. Bring out, if you're going to smack somebody in the head with colors, bring out purple 380s. All, all, all bring red out 350s. Red. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah. Come on. They all got the same, it's all the same. Yeah, you make some colors so people can go crazy. Make it hard to get. I take these for two. I just think, I don't, don't think they'll pass as brand new because you tried them on, to be honest. Come on, man. I'm just being honest. I'm looking at the bottoms. Box price? You can't beat that. I'm just, you know, like I said, Yeezys haven't been, you know. But if you want to cash this out, we could do that. And then if you want that, I could grab that for you. I'm just scraping up. I got a $7,500 breeding. Dog breed, that's what I do. Dogs. Oh, that's what you told me, right? That's what I do. Dogs. You want to shout it out for the IG? <laughs> what's it? What's the IG? Shout the dogs out. You need a bully, he'll hit you up. I'm not where I want to be at right now. Oh. I'm working. You want to just run this cash and then just hold on to these? Yeah. That's fine. Just making sure, you know, got to do my due diligence. We didn't even haven't even got a GS pair yet, to be honest. 600 flat. And that's what? That's. 180, 220, 200. Good money? Um, but you need cash, right? So give me one second. Y'all see that? Just enough. That's crazy. It's so weird when stuff like that happens. Never have this much cash. Bring you some more, man. Probably like Friday. When I uh, feel like climbing up on shit. Hey, man. Thank you, business. Good business always. Of course. Good business always. Sure you don't want to shout out the dog page? No, not yet. I'll not let yet. Know. All right. I'll drop that heat. All right. <laughs> Bring something up here and shout out. You never out know. You time. never know who sees it. They say, hey, I need one. All right, guys. Just bought some stuff. As you can see, Raging Bull 5s. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I invested quite a bit of money into the Raging Bull 5s. Investment doesn't really, you know, didn't really go too well. I still have a lot of pairs. I still believe in the investment. I believe in the sneaker. I think in a year or two, every size will be, you know, 280 plus. But right now, for some reason, small sizes are low. Big sizes are like around the three that, you know, I thought they'd go for. But to me, that's such a nostalgic sneaker and it's definitely just not getting the respect it deserves. Just bought a pair of Michigan Dunks. He gave us a, a good deal on these. I think we paid 180. Here's one that shouts to everyone who sold those pairs. Um, when they could because you guys definitely hit us in the head and they're definitely not going for that much anymore uh, This is our first youth size. We got in this is a size 6 youth I'm gonna be honest I might tuck this one just because youth size stuff does jump up You just got to give it some time and we also don't have much youth So it's good to put these in the stash at least to have something for the ladies next up We have the alternate grape 5. This is another sneaker that I think is really cool colors are just different but obviously like how many people want to wear a purple suede shoe you know definitely different vibe right there and here you go last but not least we got midnight navy one of gary's favorites is that your phone is that his i love it his honestly hopefully we can go find him let's see um yo he left his phone if he could come back to the sneaker store 
All right, bet, bet. I'll see you in a second. It happens sometimes, guys, you know? Watch your pockets. <laughs> Phones fall out the pocket. Phones always fall out the pocket. We like having the environment when, you know, we chilling, we're talking, you know, sneakers, life, business, money. You know, we're relaxed in here, chilling, but you can't forget your phone, so. Glad at least we didn't close up and he has the phone. I'm glad it rang, because I don't even know. Did we finish this? Mm -hmm. Okay, Midnight Navy, Jordan 1. I said this is one of Gary's favorites just because, Gary, you traded these in back in the day towards something, right? Mm, no, I traded something else for a different type of shoe. I got that as a gift, that shoe. Oh, so you still have them? Yeah. Oh, nice. One of the shoes Gary still has, he doesn't trade everything in. And then we just got this crew neck in. I'm gonna be honest, crew necks just don't really sell too well for us. Or they do sell well, but we usually sell them pretty cheap. This one was just different. Got the Georgia Bulldog Lee Sport. This one's kind of crazy though. SEC upside down, which I didn't even realize at first. And then on the back, Georgia. So we'll probably put up this in the store for like 30, 40 bucks. Other than that, did you get your feet today? Mm -mm. So yeah, man. Um, green i'm definitely envious of berwin having that sneaker because that's a sneaker i don't have and i probably should have bought when they were 350 now they are in my size like five to six and you never ever see that 11 and a half but i mean look at this sneaker guys the yellowing the green the leather <laughs> great deal on those <laughs> dang man it happens you know it. be safe bro so yeah, man, that's what we're doing in here today. We're wrapping up. Forgot to mention, Nets did win last night. Shouts to Kyrie, came back with the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? Pulled it out. Actually, shouts to Lance Stevenson last night. He made that game super, super exciting. My man was dropping 20 points in the first quarter. So that's appreciative. We almost have our first 150 sneakers into our new inventory system. That's exciting. Every box will have a nice little TSK label on it. That's exciting. Other than that, today was pretty dull. I think people think the snow's coming in, which it looks like it is. I'm not sure if we will be open tomorrow due to that, but hopefully we will. Other than that, January 29th, we will be at the Just Nice Sneaker Convention in Atlantic City, one of my favorite places to go and have a good time. So if you guys want to go, January 29th, Atlantic City Exposition Center, I believe. Meet us there. The poster's going to be right here. <laughs> Check that out right now. You know, hit them up, get your tickets, get your tables. We're going to be trying to cash out to so bring us good stuff. Bring us vintage shirts, cool stuff, Berwin size, so he can buy it because he's always buying stuff. <laughs> um, and yeah, other than that, also, we will be closed next week, January 12th. So sorry, but we will be closed. That's a Wednesday. We have to be closed because we're going to be filming some cool stuff in here. Other than that, I hope everyone stays safe tomorrow in this wilderness of weather that everyone's talking about. Gary, the meteorologist over here, told me it's only going to be like three to five, and that's light. Three to five inches. So that's light. So I don't know why people are lined up for gas. People are going crazy. Get your rock saw and all that. Very careful. Other than that, the quick one and done. Oh. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> yeah, my, I just like let that happen. <laughs> And by the way, everyone's been telling me like you finally hit a one and done. I've hit one and done's before, right guys? Right. I hit like one or two. Go back in them YouTube right. videos, okay? Back then, and I hit them. It was like 1K, man. Yeah, we hit one and done. Oh, I used to hit a one and done on the air. That's the OG hoop. If you know, you know. Yeah, that just brings back memories, man. Anyways, hope you guys stay safe. See you guys next time. Mm. Right there. Peace.